in a world where people hate things that come from China, I am going where no beer reviewer will boldly go. I'm putting something from China in my body. Welcome everyone to another FS Beer Review. My name is Josh, and tonight we're drinking a can of lychee sherbet. Beer Berliner Weiss style ale with lychee juice, milk, sugar, and natural flavors. 4.5% ABV brewed and canned by Untitled Art, Wanakee, Wisconsin. Now you're saying, what does this have to do with China? Well, lychee originally comes from China. Now it can be grown in America in climates like Florida and such, but it's mainly found over there. But yeah, you look at the can art. Right, this can art is by Stephanie Hammond. Heyman. Sorry if I mispronounced it. I'm sure you're not watching this, so we have nothing to worry about. Let's crack it open. Let's pour it. Look at it. Smell it. Taste it. Let's see what's got going on. Not the color I was thinking. Now it is also known. I don't. I think I already said this. Known as a strawberry, an alligator strawberry. So it probably has a lot of that same. Tastes, flavors, smells as a strawberry. You got to think. It's got to be similar, right? Maybe just like a cousin from overseas. Sweet. You're getting a lot of that beer smell from it. That beer li Berliner Weiss. Like and subscribe. It smells almost more like traditionally, like a traditional Goza. Not Maybe not as light as one of those smells, but I mean, it's 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 murky. It almost looks like a New England style IPA, but it smells, it's got that sweetness from the berry. I don't know. I'm kind of excited to uh, try this one and I'm going to do that right now. As always on Half-Ass Beer Review, we do little drink, big drink. Cheers, everybody. That was weird. Buddy. Sound like uh, from the bayou. Wow. So it's not necessarily like a strawberry. There's a sweetness to it. The milk sugars are in here giving it like this creaminess. This almost tastes like a strawberry rhubarb dessert. That's what I'm going to go ahead and say here. Yeah, it's very strange. I don't want to take big drinks of it. I'm not huge on the big drinks of it. Yeah, but it's very interesting, very intriguing. I would like to try just a lychee berry by itself to see how much of the lychee berry the milk sugars are kind of covering up or that creaminess is kind of giving into them. But this tastes like a dessert like my grandma would make with strawberry rhubarb and some... <clears throat> oh, oh. I don't know if you've ever had this, but there's like a strawberry dessert with like a layer of almost like pudding on there. Kind of reminds me of that. That's what this is reminding me of. It's, it's kind of one of those fruity pudding creamy desserts in in a can like this is um uh, i'm enjoying this goes down easy but there's something about it that's keeping me from taking big drinks of this beer i don't know what it is but i am enjoying it like i said it is a little weird if you're not into weird new things it just probably might not be for you but if you are, if you're into expanding your horizons, especially when it comes to drinking beer, I'll drink beer with anything in it. You could tell me you're putting sautéed onions in something, and I hate onions with a passion, and I'd probably end up trying it just to see. Would I ever buy this beer again? I'm not certain. Like, I'm trying it. I'm drinking it. It's not bad. It, re it really isn't. I'm recommending if you're into these kinds of things, or if you're into trying new stuff, try this one out. I just don't think it's for me. But I'm not really getting, I don't know. I don't know. It is light. I wouldn't say it's refreshing. It goes down easy. You're left with kind of that. You're left with the berry. Uh, the creaminess is gone after the drink. But it, it's a creamy, fruity drink right in the middle. And then after, it's just you're just kind of left with that fruit. This isn't terrible. Like, it, it really isn't. But like I said, I don't think I could buy it again. If I did, it would probably just be a single can. I'd have to be kind of hankering for it. I'd want other people to try it. This is definitely something I would be like, whoa, you got to try this. Like, if, if I were... Going to a party that says, hey, bring a four-pack maybe no one's ever had before. This is something I would take just so that other people could try it and I could kind of get their opinion on it. Not a lot of beers are like that, but this is one of those where I'm like, 
I, I like this. I, I, I think it's good, but I want to know what other people know too. Like that's, that's pretty interesting that they could do something like that. And they're expanding kind of the fruits. Again, I, like I said last week, like they're pulling fruits out of nowhere. Like, it's just like, oh, we're brewing with uh, lychee berries today. Figure it out, you know? And then they go buy some lychee berries, they eat them and then what, you know? I, I don't know. But now that's going to do it for this episode of half SB Review. Thank you all for stopping by and checking out something completely new with me. Uh, new beer, new fruit. It, pretty good. Lychee berry, lychee sherbet, Untitled Art. Untitled Art's doing really good things. This is the one thing from them that I would say is the most unique. Like, I think all of their beer is solid, but this is probably the most unique thing I've had from them or even any brewery in quite some time. I know a Berliner Weiss isn't necessarily unique, but just how they did it with the milk sugar and the new fruit, the lychee berry, pretty cool, pretty cool. <laughs> but now it's time for you to tell me what you're drinking. What are you drinking right now? What do you like to drink? Would you try this? Have you had a lychee berry? I want to know. Has anybody that's watched this had a lychee berry or a strawberry, an alligator strawberry? Man, I screw that up every time. I want to know. You can let me know down in the comments. But until next time, please keep your fridges full and have a great night.